Sit down. Where do you think you want to go? Sit down, young man. Okay? Yeah. I just had a meeting with your teacher, with your class teacher, of course. And she complained so many things about you. Just tell me what happened. I mean, this is completely outrageous. I received a complaint from your class teacher that you stole some money from your classmates. I mean, are we poor? Do you really need some money and you, you cannot just ask me directly? I mean, that's completely wow. Like, I just cannot understand what happened to you. Honey, I'm here. I know your father has been gone, long gone, okay? We don't care. But I'm here. I'm earning money. My God, it's so crowded outside. I mean, like, all right, all right, concentrate, concentrate. My therapist says that I have to be calm. I have to be calm. Okay. Do not talk about your dad. He is long gone, all right? So, what is the problem? We're not poor. I earn some money. We have a beautiful house. We have. I drive a car. I mean, I'm not saying that it's luxurious or nothing like that. But at least, I mean, why why did you steal? Uh, what 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 on earth? Why on earth did, did you do that? Oh my god! I feel so. I was so ashamed, you know, when your teacher said that to me. I was like, oh, no. That is not my Jeffrey. No, no, no. My Jeffrey is not like that. I tried to convince your teacher, no, my son is not that kind of psycho, you know, petty thief, something like that. But then, you know what? She showed me a video, like a CCTV something, and you were there. Why did you do that? Why? I mean, how many schools... How many houses we have to sh we have to move, like just to get you straight? I mean, you have chosen me, right? I, you have chosen me, your mother. You have chosen me to stay, like you. I'm just speechless. You could have chosen your dad, but no, you have chosen me. You want to stay with me. You want to be with me. You want to. You want me to take care of you, and then. You know how hard I've been trying to support our family. I know it's only both of us, but please, I mean, we have each other. I just don't know what happened. Like, oh my God, I just, I fail. Like, I feel like I'm not a good mother at all. I know I've been busy, but I always, I'm always there for you. I, I always try to support i mean like accommodate whatever you need like i know this is not about money but i always i'm always there for you right i just don't get it like this kind of thing happened and yeah your teacher is kind enough to make this discreet i mean she doesn't tell anyone about this how many did you steal actually come on just tell me how much hundred dollars are you kidding me that's all and you have gone through this kind of trouble just to get hundred dollars why didn't you just ask me what's wrong with you do you want me to hospitalize you again like oh. you want me to put you in a mental institution mental institution I don't think so yes you just came out from that a couple of years back but you don't want me to take you back there right do you want me to no of course not or do you want me to take you to your aunt your psycho aunt do you want me to take you there no 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 i know you don't want to but you disappoint me i don't know what else to do i don't know what else to do i'm so so heartbroken you can say like, I feel like all the burdens in this life have come to my shoulder. I mean, like, I am, I feel like I'm the worst mom of all. 
like I fail as a mom. You made me feel so. You see my face, I just cried actually. When your teacher said that, I, w I couldn't control myself, I cried. No, I cannot tell your dad about this. You want me to tell your dad about this? No, of course not. Look, honey, whatever it is, we're going to sort this out, all right? And may I know, I mean, for which purpose you you stealing that money? I mean, do you want to buy something? No, so? You just want to keep it? Oh my God, what is wrong with you? God, no, because of you, you have to be, you, you're just grounded, okay, for one month. You cannot go anywhere. You cannot go outside. Yes, yes. You just cannot go outside. I will ask your aunt to come here to supervise you. Because I know you're going to run away. You're just going to go out and then, I don't know, what not. You will do crazy things. You don't want me to call your aunt? That's not a choice. It's not an option. This is an order. I'm going to call her. She will be here. Okay, any minutes now. Because I need to go for a work trip, okay? No. I told you I'm always there for you. But this kind of situation, you made me do this. I need to leave. You want me to earn money, you want me to accommodate whatever you need, then I have to work. I don't have any option, right? As a single mother. No argument, please. I'm going to call your aunt. Yes, you just you just have to stay here. You're grounded, you cannot go outside for one month. Whatever you want, you can just ask your aunt. No, no options, okay? And no excuses, nothing. I've had enough with you. All right? Sit there. Don't move, okay? Don't go anywhere. I'm going to call your aunt. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to call her. Oh, God. Oh, that's quite fast. Yeah, I need you to come here right away. You know, your nephew is, you know, acting up again. You just come here, please. I need you right now. Please? Yes, please. Okay. Don't ask me many questions. Just come right away. For heaven's sake. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. No, no, you don't have to bring that. You just have to come here. That's all. Okay, yeah. That's your aunt. She's coming, okay? You sit here. I'm going to go downstairs and you just stay in your room. Do not go outside. You're not going to have dinner tonight, okay? I don't care. I just don't care. Whatever. I don't want any excuses, any reasons you have. Stealing is not allowed. I mean, it's, my God, you cannot steal someone's money just like that, right? Young man, you know you did wrong. So I just, I'm just going to leave you here. Right? Okay. No, no, sit. Okay, sit. 